Hello everybody and welcome back to Dr. Ghost Games and today we're just going to be checking out all the stuff that's in the store and uh, kind of just going over what's new in the update. So yeah, um, literally at the time of recording this it is 6.12am and the update just dropped and um, I just got on and I'm going to go over everything, see what's in the store. See what obviously the thing up at the top is the squadron, whatever the heck that says. I, I'm not even gonna bother to pronounce that, but we're gonna take a look at the stuff and I'm gonna give you guys my thoughts on everything. So, anyways, regardless, let's go and take a look. So, in the store, right off the bat, we've got a random bundle, Italy. Hmm, so apparently, if you buy one bundle you get these and then i guess the next day there'll be another bundle and another bundle and another bundle i i don't really understand what this is i guess i might read it while we're here so this random bundle uh includes early access italian destroyers tier 5 premium leone and an array of in-game items okay get a single set for one of the possible batches of goods or get all of the sets Okay, so all of the sets are all this all this stuff. Jesus. So, yeah. Random bundle is a new way to acquire items. Within each obtained set, you'll get one of the various arrays of items until you acquire each possible option. Okay. So, basically what it sounds like to me, guys, is you pay 750 doubloons and you get these rewards. And then the next time you come on here... I guess there'll be another batch. So, hmm. It's kind of like gambling. I I don't really know what to what to think about this. So, anyway, next up the Regia Marina set for 25,500 doubloons, you get all of the Italian premium ships, I think, except the uh, the tier 7s. But a fabulous selection of the mightiest Italian ships, including such um Maric names pardon my pronunciations, as Giulio Cesare and Gorizia. So you get all these ships for 25,000. Honestly, I would not do this, but if you really like Italian ships, maybe. But hey, there's some pretty good ships in here, but would I go out of my way to spend over $100 on all these? Hell no. But it's just me. You guys let me know in the comments, but what you're going to do anyway. ARP Haruna, or Pregio Haruna, so you get, uh, for 15,000 doubloons, you get a Tier 4 battleship, the Haruna, which is basically, it's a Congo-class battleship. In real life, there were actually, um, I think there were four Congos. The Congo herself, the Haruna, um, I think there was another, I think there was a couple others as well. I don't know all of them. Let me know in the comments below. I'm sure, I'm sure some of you history buffs out there will know, but, yeah. Uh, you also get ARP Haruna herself. You get a flag, and you get five Apregio crates, which I think each one of these Apregio crates costs right here 750 doubloons. So is that worth it? Maybe. Maybe. If you if you really like the ARP stuff, and if you like the Congo, yeah, you might find value in this. I don't know. Would I spend, though, 15,000 doubloons? Probably not. But keep in mind, each one of these Apregio crates has a chance to drop containers and commanders and ships as well. So I don't know. It's up to you guys. Now, Luigi Rizzo's available, I guess. Who is this guy? I think we already have had him. The Abruzzi is on sale right now for 9,350 doubloons. So if you've been wanting the Abruzzi right now, maybe the time to pick it up. It's on sale. And another legendary bundle, 11,000 doubloons for the London. A British commander, great 20 camos and a discount. Okay. Anything in the doubloons tab? Nope. Anything in the offers? Obviously, my free crate. We'll grab that while we're here. Is there anything else in here? Nothing of interest. Special tab? Uh, there are some bundles here. So it's not just the Garizia that's on sale. The Leone's on sale as well. The Duca de Osta's on sale. The Giulio Cesare, which is a fantastic tier 4 battleship. If you guys don't have this, I would highly suggest getting it if you have the money to spend. And the Abruzzi's on sale. I'm kind of sad. Oh, they actually have the Garizia on sale. I went right past it, I think. So, Garizia is a, basically, it's a Zara. If you guys like the Zara or the Trento, I think you guys will like it. Because it's basically a better, um, it's basically a better 
Zara, kinda. It's got sonar, it's got the smokes. It's not a bad ship from what I've seen in the past when it came out. So, I don't know. People, you might want to pick this up. Me, personally, I've got plenty of good tier 6s. I don't need this, but it's all up to you guys. So, but there, there are some good sales in here. Um, looks like a bunch of commanders, and the Otago's in here as well. I think that's always been in here. And I think that's it for the store. Anything in the forage? Oh, that's right. In the forage, they added the Kleber camo, they added the Conqueror camo, and the Napoli camo. Okay. And I think that is it for that. Ships tab, nothing. Supply, nothing. Okay, so that's everything in the store. Let's move on to the, uh, the Squadrone thingy. Um, so today's reward, if I check, um... Uh, today's reward is 500, or, okay, so 1,500 global XP, and it looks like some commander items. Tomorrow's is the same, tomorrow's the same, tomorrow's, you get a crate, and you get another crate. So these little crates here, these early access crates, have chances of dropping the new Italian tech tree destroyers, so look out for that. You guys are probably going to be seeing a lot of those. But it looks like they're going to be dropping a lot of them throughout the duration of this uh, this little thing. So if you guys... I guess you guys have a reason now to log in every day. And you also get a bunch of doubloons as well from week 3. That's 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 6... That's 700 dubs. Not too bad. If that also piles up with the other doubloons you get, that could be something. Um, Looks like that's about it, though. Bunch of containers and stuff, which is fine. It gives us uh, free-to-play players a chance to actually get some of the uh, tech tree destroyers early. So, there you guys go. And once you complete all that, if you log in every single day for a month, basically, you get the commander as well. So, there you go. Now, we head on over to the campaign and missions. Um, this is the new campaign for the Iger, obviously. The Jolton of the Seas uh, campaign. Um, if you guys decide to buy the Admiralty backing for uh, 2,500 doubloons, you will have to uh, do all the weekly Havocs every week. And eventually, once you complete the campaign, you will unlock the Eiger, which is a Tier 7 German battle cruiser. It's, it's a cruiser in World of Warships Legends, but it's basically a battle cruiser. If we take a look at her, um, she, uh, yeah, she's basically a Siegfried hull. So it's basically a Siegfried hull. It's got 27 millimeters of bow and stern armor. Um, it does have some uh, deck armor as well, I think. Where's the deck armor? Is this the deck armor? Yeah, here we go. It's got uh, 30 to 80 millimeters of deck armor. It's not the greatest. Um, does it have a turtle back? It kind of does. I don't know. Yeah. Well... I'm not really looking forward to it, not gonna lie, but for those who are looking forward to the Iger, leave a comment below. Tell me what you guys think of the Iger. I, I mean, I'm still gonna get it, but I'm probably not gonna do much with it, but it could be pretty juicy. If these 305s that are on the, um, these 305s are also on the Brandenburg and the Odin, but if these 305s actually are quite accurate, if they get cruiser accuracy, I could see them being pretty good, but I will just have to wait and see, but it's got... Um, it's got a base 20-second reload. That's pretty good for 305 millimeters. It's got 16-kilometer base range, 27 fire chance, um, 3,600 maximum HE, 9,100 AP. This thing could be dirty. We'll have to see. Um, I'm actually kind of curious. Uh, the AA is pretty good. Maneuverability, 33 knots. That's pretty fast for a ship of this size. Um, concealment, pretty average for a battle cruiser. Um, but yeah. Let me know in the comments below. What do you guys think of the Eiger? I mean, I'm kind of just skeptical. I mean, it's another German battle cruiser, so I, you know. The sonar also, 5.7. Um, it lasts two minutes. Okay. That's not too bad. The heels, average. Six kilometer torpedoes, 65 knot speed. Okay, pretty average. So, yeah, that's the uh, Eiger, so who knows? We'll have to wait and see how that one uh, pans out. Um, now, if we go check the Renown, obviously the Weekly Havocs. In case you guys are wondering how to complete the campaign, you have to complete every single Weekly Havoc. 
So every week there's going to be a weekly havoc. So obviously it's the first week of the update. So you guys are going to have to do week one or weekly havoc one basically. Once you guys complete this, you will get a bunch of these little uh, see those little eagle symbols or whatever. Those are renown points, and 25 renown will level you up one level in the campaign. So every 25 renown, you will level up once in the campaign. So yeah, doing all these weekly havocs will eventually net you and uh, will net you a lot, and you'll eventually complete the campaign. So that's kind of how you do it. You just do all of these weekly havoc stuff, and you guys can actually boost your uh, you guys can actually boost your way. Um, they're a little bit quicker if you do all these weekly uh, heroic efforts as well. So, yeah, do the campaign stuff, guys. Uh, looks like the path to the samurai stuff is still here. Huh? I already have the Mikasa. I don't know why it says... I'm confused. Did I just get a duplicate then? So, apparently... Huh. Okay. Well, it looks like they still have the path to the samurai stuff. Okay, whatever. Um, I might be able to get a duplicate ship then. I don't understand, but we'll see. Uh, looks like everything's pretty normal here. Nothing too crazy. And that's about it. Um, if we go take a look at the ships, obviously new ships in the update. Um, I think starting off with... Didn't Britain get a new ship? No. Germany, I don't think, got one. Nope. France. St. Louis has always been here. Um, ah, here we go. So Petra Pavlovsk. That's new. Uh, the Petra Pavlovsk was just added. It's a new tier 8, and oh my, look how low she sits in the water. Jesus. Uh, if we check her armor. Oh, god, that's bad. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be even better than that, but Jesus, it's got horrible bow armor. I mean, it's got a little bit of an icebreaker, but Jesus. So if you, okay, so aim up high on Petra Pavlovsk. If you guys see a Petra Pavlovsk, aim up higher. Hit where that green part is. Oh my god. And the Citadel is very exposed. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> yeah, it looks like they, they, uh, they definitely gave it the nerfing wax. <laughs> That's for sure. Um, it's got pretty big 220s. Yeah. Well, we'll have to wait and see how the, this thing pans out. Petra Pavlovsk, and they added also... The however you pronounce this, I'm just gonna call it the new, the new new. <laughs> you got this thing, Jesus. This looks like a Cold War era destroyer. It is 1955. AA apparently is pretty good. No, I guess it's not. I don't know. It's got a heal. That's right. It's got a heal. Interesting. Four second base reload. That's four 100, 130 millimeter guns. Four second base. Hmm. Okay. I don't know. I, I, haven't even, I haven't even bothered really with the Russian DDs, but maybe this thing's cool. I don't know. It looks like a Russian Friesland. It's got a gun in the back and a gun in the front. So, we'll see. Uh, obviously, some Italy. They got their ships. They obviously got the destroyers. Pretty cool. You know, while I'm here, I might as well just pick up this little tier 2. And boost, because why not? Boom. So, it's actually got the full 8 kilometer range, so it doesn't get that nerf, but it does get the SAP. I'm, I'm actually really looking forward to trying these things. 8 kilometer torpedoes? Jesus. I can't wait to try these uh, destroyers out. I really do want to get my hands on a lot of these uh, these Italian destroyers. Keep an eye out for videos, guys. But anyway, this, this video is going on long enough. Basically, a bunch of new ships to buy and try out, I guess. Other than that, there's not, like, a whole lot of stuff. Um, looks like the Lepanto's out. This thing looks pretty juicy. Uh, it's got big 381mm guns, bad reload, yikes. But it does have 16 of them, it looks like. So, who knows, that thing could be, uh... I don't know, it's got 12 of them, right? My math is correct, yeah. But, um... 
yeah and the brin's d obviously looks like a it looks like a, a bigger fucking amalfi jesus look how high that thing sits up out of the water how big is a citadel for this i'm actually really curious oh my god <laughs> damn that's gonna be fun to shoot at as a battleship <laughs> but anyway this video has gone gone on long enough we've been going for 15 minutes but that's a little bit of the overview of this update let me know in the comments below what you guys think are you guys looking forward to any of this stuff um let me know what you're most excited for i'm actually pretty curious but um nonetheless i hope you all have a good rest of your weeks enjoy the update and as always peace out stay healthy as always